That's right, Vicky. Shane's home packing right now. Why are you taking another trip? We are going to the Bonjour Cafe in Paris, Texas, with you. Connor, I appreciate everything you've done. You've been so wonderful to me, but I'm not leaving Paris, Texas, or the Bonjour. But you have to. Well, we heard that Gigi inspired Noelle's entry in the pie contest, so Shane and I want to go down to cheer her on. I am so glad you two are going to be there. Listen, I'm on the flight that's going out tonight. So are we. We'll see you at the airport. Hey, you're back from Kentucky. Hey, Aubrey. So what happened? Is Kim a free woman again? I think that photo of Cutter next to the dead guy instead of Kim is enough to get her out, but I didn't stick around to see what happened. Well, did the DA give you any hint? I played it pretty close to the vest, but we did try. I know it wasn't easy getting that picture from Rama. Oh, she hates Kim. Yeah, I can understand that. Well, so did Kim give you any answers? I mean, a few. Stacy was definitely going to take Gigi's place on our wedding day. So she would be married to you instead? Oh, that's so twisted. Yeah, at least it didn't happen. Well, the reason why is... Losing Gigi. And now that psycho Stacy is running around with her face. So let's go find her and stop her. Come on, let's go. I know how Cutter thinks. You know Stacy. Let's get them. But, but I, I can't do that. I have to leave? Why? Why do I have to go? Stacy, this is a dead end. I mean, do you really want to be a waitress at a greasy spoon in some diner in Texas? Come on, we can do better than that. I like this place. And it's familiar to me. It's like I've been here before. I don't think you have been. Oh, really? Are you sure? Because I know where everything is. When we were not a catch-up, I knew exactly where they kept it. Because they keep it in a logical place. And I knew how they answer the phone here. It's right on the cover. Okay, so there are explanations for everything, but they're not my answer cutter. I feel something here. I get that. I do. I feel something big, like, like I belong here. Like, being in this place is the key to getting my memory back. What if I don't want you to get your memory back? Oh, Rex, if you're worried about what happened in Brazil, it will not happen again. I don't know why I kissed you. It was stupid. No, 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 it's not and that. I know that you're... Uh, not ready for a relationship. Yeah, that's not the reason. Then why don't you want to go after Cutter and Stacy? I do. I just can't do it now. I need to spend some time with my son. Oh, right, of course. A friend of ours created a, a pie in honor of Gigi, and she's placing it in a contest where they used to work together. Shane and I are going down there to cheer her on. Oh, that's a great idea. It'll be good for Shane to go back to Paris. It's where he spent most of his life. Shane grew up in Paris? Paris, Texas. Oh, that's where you're going. Gigi worked at the Bonjour Cafe down there. I hadn't seen her since high school. Paris, Texas is where I found her again. Cutter, why don't you want me to get my memory back? Because I don't think it'll do any good. I need to know why I did what I did. I stole my sister's face. I was ready to take her life and her fiancé. That's a really horrible person. That's not you anymore. How do you know? Because... I, I need to know why I did that. And I need to make sure that it never happens again. Don't you want that for me? Stacy, I care about you. I told you that in Brazil. When we kissed. Going backwards isn't going to change anything. All I want is for you to be happy. I just... I... That's a lie. I, I do want you to be happy, but just not with Rex. Okay. You think that'll happen? He's the reason you did all that crazy stuff. You loved him, and... If you remember who you used to be, you're going to remember all the feelings you used to have for him. Where does that leave me? It was just weird to, after all those years of being apart, to, that we both end up at the same place at the same time. It was fate. You were meant to find her. Yeah, I was. That place was special for us. Well, I need to go back down there. I need to connect with Gigi. I, I need to go back there so that I can let Gigi go. I don't want anyone to get hurt, okay? That's why I can't keep living in the dark. You're not. I have to get my memory back. Even if it's bad, I have to fill in the blanks. So if you end up getting obsessed with Rex again? No, I won't. I won't let that happen, okay? I'm not going to go back to that. Even if I get the impulse, I won't let it happen. I'm not going to obsess about Rex ever again. 
How do you know that? Because of you. Well, good luck in Texas. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Aubrey. Thank you for everything. You've really helped more than you know. I'm glad I could. Well, I should head out. She's probably packing, waiting by the doors. Okay. Aubrey. Look, I don't know what's going to happen when I get my memory back. For all I know, I could turn into a totally crazy bitch. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Well, I hope not. But the one thing I do know is that I care about you. That won't go away. You don't have to say that. Can't promise anything. I don't care what Stacy Morasco felt for Rex. Too bad. I'm not gonna let that get in the way of what's happening between us. Vicky, stop! We'll go after Cutter and Stacy as soon as I get back, okay? I mean, if you're up for it. It is a deal. What is happening between us? this. That's... Wow. Unforgettable? <laughs> Definitely. You really think I could just forget about you if I get my memory back? Well, now I know how to remind you. <laughs> yes, you do. So what do you say? Will you stay here with me? If you want to. Yeah. I'll go over to the bone suites and get us a place to stay. Thank you. Cutter. I'm glad you're staying. See? Now we're even that time I kissed you. Yeah. Yeah, you did. This way it was totally natural, not awkward at all. <laughs> Do you have plans for Christmas? Well, I hear the Minuteman puts tinsel on the roach trap, so... Yeah. Would you like to spend Christmas with me and Shane? I would love to. But are you sure? I mean, it's your first Christmas without Gigi. Yeah, it'll, it'll be tough, but it'll be easier if you're there. Then I will be. If you stay, you'll find out I lied to you. You'll find out you're Gigi. What then? I'm back here. Me neither. Mm. I don't think Shane's put his camera down since we got here. Well, he wants to remember this trip. I'm glad we came. Oh, so am I. So am I. I am so happy here. And Lambie seems like a million miles away. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I feel closer to Gigi here. It seems as if the bonjour looks exactly like the original one. It certainly feels the same. It's exactly like the first time I saw Gigi again. I guess it's the right place to say goodbye to her. Okay, I'm going to go and get Shane settled at the motel, okay? Why don't you just take a minute and check out the specials? Get us a table. Thanks. Why, well, thank you, Miss, uh... Stacy. It's my first day, so I don't have a name tag yet. Well, first day, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Stacy, welcome to the Bonjour. <laughs> you know, they say anything can happen here. I get that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> 